Hi guys, it's Darren down at Supernova Perth 2016 uh, with thank you to Independence Day Resurgence. We're talking to the wonderful John Noble. How are you going, John? Good day, Darren. How are you, mate? Good. Thanks for taking a few minutes to chat with us before your weekend kicks off. Mm. Uh, first things first, you started your career in acting a little bit later than most, but you did a lot of stage work. But yeah, I, didn't movies start, and TV. I didn't start that much later, but I didn't, uh, I didn't try film and television until I was uh, really... Uh, I moved from Adelaide, where, where I, I'd been artistic director for the theatre company there yep. for quite a long time, and then I moved to Sydney to try and break into film and television. Yep. And that was that was tricky. It was it was it was tough. Um, you know, starting really at the, because I was an unknown in that field, so that was a bit of a challenge. And, uh, then it obviously broke for me. Yep. Thank, thank God. And uh, yeah, we did a few guest spots in like All Saints and, and that sort uh, of All thing. Saints. I was semi regular, and uh, and I did played a couple of characters on. <laughs> A couple of gigs on Home and Away, which is interesting because in Britain, that's the one that they love. Yeah. You know, you can do all this other stuff and they say, well, we saw you in Home and Away. Yeah. I was there two weeks ago and some fellow had put together this folio from Home and Away and with the different characters, I couldn't remember their names. You know, two different <laughs> fellas. And he got it signed somewhere. Yeah, but, it, but everything really kicked off when you popped up in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah well, internationally, certainly. Yeah. Yeah. And how was that experience for you looking back now? You see, Rings was a, a totally unique experience for anybody, and I don't think it'll ever be repeated, because of the, well, a, a number of reasons. The material was so beautiful, frankly. Yeah. Peter Jackson's vision was astonishing, uh, just for that project. I'm not talking about anything else he's done. Yeah. Uh, but just at that point in time, what he put into it was amazing, and he was able to to draw together this extraordinary group of people from all over the world. Not, not many famous people. He just yeah. went around and, and looked for the actors that he thought were best for him. Yeah, sure. And then he uh, got this crew. Basically, all of New Zealand were his yeah. crew. <laughs> and then he just created this strange and wondrous uh, period of time where he set the bar so high by his own example that other people just went for it. Yeah. So I've nev never sensed anything like that before. And we were locked away in a corner of New Zealand, which is, yeah. you, you, there's not much else to think about, you know? Yeah. We're down in Wellington. Now, the character you played, yeah. was it a hard role to play? Because he mm. was full on. Yeah. Oh, well, look, it was a very challenging, mm. it was a very challenging role. I mean, within stage terms, it's almost like doing a King Lear. It was, it was very yeah. complex. And, uh, but I mean, I, I loved that and I was ready for that. Uh, but, yeah, and, and, and to try and get, to try and realise a character like that in, in pieces of film, when, yeah. when, say, the background of the character has been omitted for whatever reason, yeah. um, and then, you know, you, you, at the end of it, there's almost no time to show any redemption. Yeah. So that was a very interesting yeah. challenge for me. And, but it was, it, was, it was a beautiful role. Yeah, and, I mean, obviously, I knew the story because I had to research it all for myself. Yeah. And you were fantastic in it. Oh, thank you, sir. But we've, since we've only got a short time, we'll jump forward a little bit to Fringe, mm -hmm. which mm. I may have cried a few tears in the finale of that series. Mm. I absolutely love that show. Uh, but you were one of the last actors to work with Leonard Nimoy. I was the last, I um, do believe. What was he like working, yeah. well, working with Well, him? look, it, it's fair to say that when, when they were talking who was going to come in to play William Bell, there were names being thrown around the place, everything from you know, Mick Jagger around. Yeah. And then someone said Leonard Nimoy, and I, I thought, no, this can't be right. I mean, no, he belongs somewhere in another yeah, yeah. universe. Anyway, it turned out to be him. This beautiful, tall, rather gaunt man came on set, and we uh, we, we actually became friends. Yeah. Uh, he was so perfect in that role. Though. He was totally yeah. perfect for all sorts of reasons, and uh, and we we actually connected very well as, as actors, which was great. Yeah. But also as men, and. Yeah. Uh, so for all sorts of reasons, it was uh, an astonishing experience. When you get to work on occasions with people that you're a bit in awe of, not because they're acting yeah. but, but somewhere else, uh, then it makes it really... I remember I did some stuff with Christopher Lloyd as well, and, and that was kind of odd. Yeah. You're thinking, wow, am I actually working with Christopher <laughs> Lloyd, you know, <laughs> seriously? And, uh, yeah, he was at Supernova a few years ago, yeah. Was he? Really he, nice guy. Yeah, he's a great bloke. Yeah. So, uh, and but, obviously, well, that character as well would have been pretty complex to get into. Oh my god, yes. But yeah. but I but for whatever reason I, I kind of I did understand that character 
and I did know where to go to find out what I didn't know. Yeah. And I did research it a lot. Oh, okay. But I, I, underst <laughs> I understood him. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, God, yes. Very complex man, that one. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. So, um, and you're currently on elementary, is that correct? Just, yes. I've just done a year on, uh, uh, contract on elementary. Uh, that was interesting in itself. Different sort of show. Yeah. Yeah. I'd spent two years on uh, Sleepy Hollow before that. Yeah. Um, elementary is a, is a class show. It's just is it's a, it's a class network show with CBS, and that's why they're they're keeping it there, I suppose. You know, a good cast, yep. Johnny Lee Miller. And have you got anything else Lee. coming up soon that you'd like to make people aware of? No, not particularly. Something will pop up. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll probably go back and do a little bit more yep. elementary. Might go back and do a little bit more Sleepy Hollow. I've got a little film coming up as soon as I leave here. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know, mate. <laughs> what, right. Whatever no, comes no, up, I don't right. know. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes to talk to us. Have good a great see weekend. Yeah, and, thanks. Uh, see we you appreciate guys. it. Thank you.